course, uh, Purple Rain was uh, one of the many songs enjoyed by people all around the world. Yeah, Prince won seven Grammys and an Oscar for his music. Here's Susan Elizabeth Littlefield. It was a stop here at this downtown record store where Prince would make one of his final excursions. Yeah, I just mentioned to him, um, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see you're feeling better. Days later, his own merchandise is flying off the shelves that he just shopped, leaving an emptiness. A big one. I've talked with my children. They're all Prince lovers as well, and we want to just have like a little, a little ceremony at our house. Another local place he visited one last time, the Dakota Jazz Club. There to hear singer Liz Wright just two nights ago. He snuck in the side door as he often did, sitting at this table. You know, so most people didn't know he was here. Club owner Lowell Pickett says he came about every five weeks, listening to artists of all different genres. In 2013, he did a few pop-up gigs of his own. You know, it was pretty historic to see Prince in a room that seats 250 people. It just doesn't happen. He made things happen his own way, a Minnesotan with a voice that the world listened to. I'm convinced that there isn't a more talented person in American popular music. Now we're back out here with this crowd at First Avenue. You can see people have been raising their phones, taking photos. It was a very powerful scene here where part of Purple Rain, the movie, was filmed. People stood outside in the rain moments ago, and they are all, as you can see, bringing their purple. All right, Susan Elizabeth, thank you. And uh, Chris joins us now. I like what.